there's a lot of different things that both Comcast and NBC Universal have done to deal with this pandemic. And from, um, from a macro level, when we look at what the company has done with everything from providing free broadband access to NBCU creating ways to help society through the pandemic has both allowed us to help society as we go through these troubled times, but also allowed us to really flex the advertising muscle that we've created over these times for good. So for example, if you think about our shoppable TV platform, that was originally uh, aiding advertisers in creating shopping carts. But if you're familiar with the parks and recreation spot uh, show that we did a couple weeks ago, we were able to use that shoppable TV platform to raise over $6 million to help with the pandemic. So we feel like we're using our capabilities for good. And it's so wonderful to find that we have those capabilities and that we're able to avail them for our agencies, our advertisers, and for society in general. In addition to the parks and recreation show that we were able to carry oh. off, we were also able to use the stay in theater where we were able through the help of our advertisers and agencies to reduce advertising load from over 30 minutes to just under two. So that is something that we're incredibly proud of and we're hoping to take reduction in ad time forward as this is something that we've committed to over the past few years. So along with these developments, we've also been able to use our data muscles in order to help along with the pandemic. Now more than ever, we're seeing our technology and our data vendors cooperate and learn how to use data in conjunction with one another so that we can put out PSAs and allow our data to direct who we're speaking to. So through the pandemic, we realized that not everybody requires the same message. Parents want to speak about the pandemic to their children, different than millennials need to hear message, different from people who are high risk. So we were able to segment the data alongside our vendors to make sure that we could get the correct creative to the correct people across all platforms using one platform. And that allowed us to contribute to society's education about a very important topic. And Denise, finally, uh, someone who's really been a, a leader in our industry in advanced TV for a number of years now, we've had many conversations. What are your sort of hopes that this whole period brings in terms of accelerated change in a positive way uh, to this world that we've been talking about all these years? We've been able to create accelerated innovation with our data partners, our technology partners, agencies, and advertisers. And we're so looking forward to seeing that continue. This accelerated in innovation is really going to help with all of our efforts in data-informed advertising, programmatic, getting into new platforms and improved platforms like streaming and also linear. We see the industry as never turning back. We hope to con continue this accelerated innovation throughout. What's come out of a very unfortunate situation has taught us new ways of working, increased productivity, how to deal with consumers in different ways, whether it's the new PSA tones of advertisements and allowing them to have us use one platform to identify users who might be golf channel enthusiasts, but guess what? They're beyond golf. They're watching news, they're watching The Voice. And through all of this, as we've trained ourselves to look for these audiences to get them the right message, we've really also instructed the industry on how to best find their audience and how to use optimization, whether it's, um, whether it's demographic, whether it's custom audiences to find who they're looking for. And that's a really positive development overall.